Well, good morning, folks. Okay, this is just a uh, short video of um, using the whistle. Uh, one of the uh, viewers, I think it was Katie, uh, sent me a message saying that she wished I could do a small video on on uh, training the whistle. Um, I've done bits and pieces before, um, but I'll just do this as a refresher. Um, if you've got um, a uh, young pup or puppies, as in my case, um, really the best way to start is right from the beginning using the whistle. Now these here are um, the uh, ACME whistles. I use a 210 and a half, which I find is about the best for my sort of thing. But uh, there are some other ones for more distant work or more closer work. But um, so I'll just give you a, shit, a quick demonstration. I mean, the pups, are, uh, are the uh, dogs are waiting for their food. So that's the best way to introduce them to the stop whistle is um you know just before you get hold their food up stop whistle get them to put their bums on the ground and then uh, repay them with their with their food uh twice a day or three times a day however many times you're feeding your pups so anyway i'll, I'll just show you uh what the situation is here and uh see how we get on all right well here we go there's the there's the two pups and there's um tilly and there's Holly. Now Holly only gets fed in the evenings. So um well am I gonna do this? I'll do the pups first. But come on pups. Ah, 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 ah. So I'm not doing the whistle yet. Their food I'll just get them there. So Eat good dogs now. Tilly's waiting, so just wait, Tilly. I'll get Tilly's food now. So, as soon as I blow the whistle, she parks her bum because she knows she wants her blooming food. So, wait, and I always let them sit up. This is the way to get them steady. This was done from as soon as I got them from the breeder. You, you, you start this. Eat. So here they all are, they're all eating. So that's the, the first start of getting them used to the whistle and the stop whistle. And the stop whistle, really, if you're with your dog all day, like I am, the whistle's around my neck. I've got a lanyard here, around the neck and Whenever you want to call them, say if they're out and about and you're going back to the car, three blows on the whistle, get them back. But first of all, to get the recall, it was done with treats. So when I'm walking around and this, that and the other, I've got some treats in my pocket. So every time you blow the, the whistle, the, the three blows on the whistle to, to come back, sit them up, give them a treat. And they get to know pretty damn quickly that three blows on the whistle means back to dad and we get a treat. It's all about um, getting them to do something and then repaying them with, with either kindness, treat, tennis ball. I'll go on to that uh, later, but um, that's how it, how it works. That's all you want really is, if you're just a normal dog owner, is a stop whistle and the recall. The recall is everything. So if just three blows on the whistle and your, your dog always comes back to you, you can't get any better than that. But uh, we'll move on to other stop whistles and uh, the other couple of other types of whistle that we use in the working dog uh, um, field. So this is another instance where you can drill the whistle into your dogs. Here are my two pups here. So before I let them out, I With the hand and like I said before the one single whistle emphasize it with the hand means park your bum and when we let them all calm down they were a bit springy and then I'll give three whistles for the release or come come to me but they'll shoot out because they're excited and they want to go to the toilet so so 
So here they are at distance. Not bad. Okay. Trigger. Reggie. Two dogs, come on. Up. Right, try and excuse the wind today, but it's a different day and it's a bit windy. So these are another couple of the uh, whistles and uh, I've been just training with uh, Reggie here for a bit and he's getting the hang of it. So I send out a tennis ball, I get him to wait and then I send him out and then I blow the, the long sort of stop whistle one single whistle but longer and then followed by um, the hunt whistle which is two whistles sort of drawn out choo -choo, sort of thing so I'll uh, show you how that goes Reggie stay 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 so I'll show him where it is find it and off he goes Oh, you got it. Straight away. And then the return whistle, the three blows, and then I say, sit up, sit up. Oh, he's dropped it. So he is quite, he's not bad at handing it over, but it's something that we've got to work on. Stay, stay. So he's marked it. My hand, I'll show him. Find it. He's gone a bit to the left, but he's a good hunting dog. He will carry on hunting till he finds it. It's about there somewhere. That's it. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Hey, find it. Find it. What you got? Come here. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Wait. Wait. Now. Good boy. Good boy. Don't be in too much of a hurry to take it off him. He's in too much of a hurry to drop it, so it's sort of tell him to wait and then just you know around like this and then when you're ready put your hand there dead oh trying to do it with a phone in one hand is blooming difficult but i mean that's what it's all about um another thing as well is is <clears throat> you hear me say find it some people say get out some people say out um i've always used find it um mainly because when we're rough shooting and they're going down a hedgerow i'll, I'll go find it you know that's just something i say find the bird you know find the rabbit find whatever so um it doesn't really matter as long as you stick with it and that's what they always know then they know what it's all about i'll give him one more he's keen stay stay get a bit out that way now wait find it There he is. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Sit up. Wait. 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 Good boy. Good lad. Good lad. Dead. Good boy. There you go. Pretty perfect. Okay, folks.